Zishan says, is it permissible for a couple who were involved in fornication to get married while the girl is pregnant? What should they do if they already got married? And what's the ruling on the child that was born? Zishan, this is a common question that people ask, unfortunately. Marriage must not be conducted unless both parties have repented from fornication and the uterus of the woman is clear from any pregnancy. This is why when two couple who had involved in fornication want to get married, we tell them, go, repent to Allah Azza wa Jal, and make sure that the woman gets one monthly cycle to ensure that she's not pregnant. After that, if the repentance is there, we can make the marriage. Otherwise, the marriage would be invalid. And all the scholars say that if a woman is pregnant, whether from the man who fornicated with her and caused her to be pregnant, which, which is something we don't know, because she might have done that with someone else. Or if she is pregnant, such a marriage contract would be invalid. Now, if we have a situation where a boyfriend, girlfriend had sex, she got pregnant, he went, proposed, and got married to her while she was pregnant. And now they come to us wanting to rectify the issue. We tell them that the previous period, since the marriage contract till date, you were living in zina because the marriage is invalid. What to do, Sheikh? Well, you have to renew the contract after repenting and asking Allah for forgiveness. So we did this 10 years ago, Sheikh, and we've repented, and now we're practicing Muslims. Alhamdulillah, may Allah forgive your sins. Go and renew the contract. How? Go to her father and tell him to renew the contract again without exposing yourself. Just use any other uh, excuse. So he says, okay, I give you my daughter in marriage. You say, I accept. And this is in the presence of two male witnesses, Muslim male witnesses. Khalas. The marriage is done. What about the children that were born, especially the child that she was pregnant with? This is an issue of dispute. The majority of scholars say that this child is born out of wedlock and he should not be attributed to quote unquote, the biological father. But there is an opinion which says that if this woman was not married when she conceived and she was known to only have had relations with that man and that man calls the child to be his, in this case, this is called istilhaq, and the boy or the girl are called after their biological father, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. 